Jonathan, what is the latest? And you have been analyzing footage that came in this morning from the incident. So, so let's actually see it footage exactly from the time this uh, journalist was shot. Let's watch it first and try to understand what we're seeing. So what exactly did we see? We saw the uh, the Palestinian gunmen there shooting and saying, we hit him, we hit him, we hit a soldier. So they hit someone, but there were no soldiers injured. There were no casualties, no injured among the soldiers. Therefore, they hit someone. Who is that someone? Apparently the journalist, though we don't know that, but this seems to be the case. The Palestinian gunmen shooting there, we saw, not, not directly aiming at soldiers, but shooting at the area saying they shot someone, someone possibly wearing a vest and a helmet like the journalists do. Therefore, this could be the, the shots that have hit uh, the, uh, the, the journalist. So, so just to, to make sure I understand, they're saying there we shot someone. Are they saying if they fell on the ground? They're, they're saying we shot him and he fell on the ground. They okay. may have thought we're, they're speaking of soldiers. And the IDF soldiers are injured. says and the IDF that no soldiers were injured in this incident whatsoever. That is true. The IDF is, is saying no soldiers were injured. And more uh, comments from uh, the uh, IDF uh, saying that uh, in the uh, overnight uh, clashes that happened in uh, the area of Jenin, shots uh, were uh, uh, fired and security forces conducted counterterrorism activity to apprehend a terrorist suspect in the Jenin refugee camp. Also adding that a Palestinian gunman fired towards uh, the soldiers, then saying the IDF is investigating the event and looking into the possibility the journalists were hit by Palestinian gunmen. This is coming from the IDF. Another Israeli reaction coming from Foreign Minister Yari Lapid, saying that Israel has offered the Palestinian Authority to hold a, a joint investigation into uh, the, the, uh, the death of uh, this uh, Palestinian, uh, this uh, Al Jazeera uh, journalist. So far, the Palestinians categorically deny any joint investigation. As far as Israel is concerned, they're saying that the fact that the Palestinians do not want a joint investigation, that may show that they have something to hide. This is currently the Israeli position. But the Palestinians, of course, argue differently. They claim that it was Israeli fire that killed the journalists. That is the notion we're hearing from, uh, not only from the Palestinians, but of course also from uh, Al Jazeera who were quick, they were the first ones to say that Israel shot their journalists. They were very quick to accuse Israel. This was also picked up by international media before checking the facts. As we mentioned, two journalists were hit. One was was unfortunately killed. Another one was injured. And in a hospital, he recalled what happened. Let's listen. We went to cover the IDF operation. Suddenly, they shot at us. They didn't ask us to leave. They didn't ask us to stop. They shot at us. One bullet hit me, the second bullet hit Shireen, and they killed her in cold blood. And so, so uh, the Israeli version is that the, this uh, uh, journalist was probably shot by Palestinians. The Palestinians and the, the Arab media, certainly Al Jazeera, claiming it was Israel who shot uh, the journalist. With no joint investigation, uh, Jonathan, what are the chances that we will actually get to know at the end of the day or at the end of this uh, uh, investigation on either side um, what actually happened? I'm not sure we'll ever know, and what is even more uh, uh, unfortunate is that we, it would probably not matter because uh, uh, there's there's a narrative, the, the the Palestinian side is claiming that this is the narrative, and even if there is an investigation, and even if you pull out the bullet and you found out that it's not a bullet that was shot by Isra Israeli Israeli soldiers, it doesn't matter anymore. The narrative is already encrypted, uh, certainly within the Palestinian society, and not only there. As far as they're concerned, it was Israeli soldiers who shot the. the the, the, the journalist, uh, some would even say deliberately doing that. Will, it, uh, will, will, will Israel ever be able to change that, even if it will be proved that a Palestinian gunman shot uh, that journalist? I don't think so. And even if the outcome would be that it was a, a, a Palestinian uh, gun um, that, that got her um, uh, killed, of course, the Palestinians would claim that Israeli activities in 
the West Bank and in Jenin night after night are the cause for this, that this would not have happened, that it would have been a quiet night in Jenin yes, if that she is, hadn't joined. That is true, and then Israel will claim that all the, pal all the recent Palestinian terror attacks came from the area of Jenin. The blame game is on, and it's not going to stop. Okay.